Previously on the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Just as fast as I rose to fame, I fell from grace. After being outed as a fraud on national TV, I became a pariah. Overnight, I lost three million followers on Instagram. I was canceled. You put your self-worth in the hands of randos. You mistook Instagram likes for love and thumbs up for proof you matter. But Fairy God Cougar, I had so many likes and it felt wonderful. Uh, until they turned on me. You have to be the one who loves you most. Now go and take back your life. Hollywood chewed me up and spit me out and they got pretty close to finishing Carlotta Botox for good. But I changed that night in the forest. I went in weak and I came out strong. I am ready for my comeback, Mr. DeMille. That's right, Carlotta Botox is coming back to punch Hollywood right in its stupid face. Dear first page of a brand new diary. Yes, punching Hollywood in its face, declaring yourself totally out of fucks, finding your backbone, all very easy to do when you've spent a sleepless night, lost in the woods, high off of some sort of hallucinogenic. Oh, I should have never eaten those wild berries. Talking cougar? Huh, there is no way that was real. <sighs> Trickster. She moved away from Jersey and flew too close to the sun. She had fame and adoration till Twitter called her done. Now she's stuck at the bottom, coming back to newest wish. But don't even try to stop her, cause self-respect's a bitch. Welcome to season three of the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. I can't tell you how worried I was. I even missed bowling night, I was so upset. Wow. Such a sacrifice. Want a cookie? Okay, technically, I showed up late to the lanes, but my game was off, so... What the hell am I going to do with myself, Dave? I'm toast. I have no income and no prospects. You move forward like you've always done. One Louis Vuitton in front of the other. Hell no. One thing is clear. Four inch heels and me, we're over. Dunzo. <laughs> as done as salad bars and shaking hands. Diary, part one of my life story was finished. Time to work on a sequel. But how to write this new narrative? As all screenwriters know, the first version of a script is called the vomit draft. That's the one where you just get all the basics of the story down. You don't worry about finessing it or making it shine yet. So let's fade in on my vomit draft. <laughs> It opens with the sound of a moving truck, which will telegraph to the audience that this story is all about transition. Yes, the Banksters took my McMansion and repossessed all of my belongings. It was just like Schitt's Creek, but you know, it was happening in real life. Huh, good riddance, I say. I never liked that place. So many bad memories and so echoey. Toodles, house. Ta-ta, Calabasas. You saw, 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 saw. My former idol and ex-girl crush, Khloe Kardashian, threw a party the day I left. The opposite of a welcome to the neighborhood party. She called it Bye bye Bash. And I was uninvited. Like, girl, bye. Bye! Back at ya, fish! Enjoy your new face! <laughs> I found a place that was more me. Cheap and no frills, right in the middle of Hollywood. Coming! Give me a sec! Hello, neighbor! Welcome to the building. I'm Zen, they, them, and I'm right next door. I wanted to just say hello since we are sharing a wall. Hi, Zen. I'm Carla. I mean, I mean Kitty. She, her. Nice to meet you, Carla. I mean, I mean Kitty. That's a hella long name. You mind if I just call you Kitty? <laughs> Kitty's perfect. 
Quick quiz, Kitty. If I knock on your door at 10 p.m. and ask you to turn down the music, what do you do? I turn it down? You don't call the police? Why would I call the police? Good answer. I'm marking you as safe on the Karen app. The Karen app? What is that? An app I'm beta testing. I'm a developer. On a scale of 1 to 10, the Karen app measures entitlement levels among middle-aged white women with angled bobs. Oh. Here, check it out. It then plots them on a map to show where Karen-dense neighborhoods are. And then what happens? Well, users can either avoid the Karen-rich neighborhoods, <laughs> no pun intended, or purposely go there to fuck with people. That is kind of genius. Kind of? Sorry. <laughs> it's... Totally genius. Okay, like 100%. <laughs> but, um, I have one question about this app. Do I look middle-aged? Okay, calm all the way the fuck down. In my defense, it is very, very hard to tell. Dermatologists in this town have superpowers. They're like the Avengers of wrinkles. Plus, you are wearing a mask, sunglasses, and a hat indoors, I might add. So, bitch, don't at me. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. But... Give me the deets, spill the tea. How does the Karen app work? Oh, a fan of exposition, are we? Well, you see, potential Karens are entered into the system, and if the user gets within proximity of, say, a low-grade Karen, maybe a two, your phone will ping this alert. Let me speak to the manager. Let me speak to the manager. Well, let's say you're in the oat milk aisle at Whole Foods and you come within 15 feet of a nuclear-grade Karen, your phone will issue this alert. I am calling the police. An African-American man is threatening my life. I am calling the police. I am calling the police. At that point, it's recommended that you bust out your phone and start recording, just in case. Wow, that is so zeitgeisty and potentially life-saving. Yeah, like I said, still beta testing it. I have a meeting with Google next week. Ooh, best of luck with it. Can I ask if this is your house? Do you live here? Is this your house? Because I know the owner. Oh shit, we got a level five Karen. Apparently just moved in next door. Gotta go, Kitty. I like you. We might turn out to be good friends. Ta-ta! Then I better let you get on with your day. <laughs> See what I did there? Do not make me regret the friend offer, okay? Yeah, got it. Sorry. Okay. Wow, Diary, a good friend. <laughs> How great would that be? The only friend I really had out here is Dave, and I pay him 30%. I thought Basic Amy was my friend, and she turned out to be the biggest backstabber of them all. Pro tip, never put your friends on staff, or make staff your friends, or, uh, you know what I mean. The truth is, I've been lonely. Most days, Siri isn't even my friend. Isn't that right, Siri? Oh, what the hell do you want now? I am three Moscow mules into a night I'll never remember and the last thing I need is four. Do you see what I'm saying about Siri? Is she like that with everyone or just me? Come on in, door's open. Hi, Dave. It's just me. I was in the neighborhood and... Uh... Whoa, Dave, your apartment. This looks amazing. Yeah, been a minute since you've been here. Nice, right? Beyond nice. This looks incredible. You have artwork on the walls. Is that a gelato machine? Oh, <gasps> and these books. You read? First editions. That's uh, Mark Rothko over there. Right here's a Warhol. And there's uh, Jasper Johns and the Shitter. I don't know what those are. Shitter? Well, that's another name for No, the... no, no. I don't know who those painters are. Oh, me neither. But Swiss and Lolly insisted on them. Wait, did you hire a decorator? Not decorators. They're pretensionists. It's a new thing. I was told to invest in something. So, books I'll never read and art I'll never appreciate is just what the accountant ordered. Must have cost a small fortune. Ah, oh, no. It cost a humongous fortune. Huh. Nice to be doing so well. I'm no longer wearing off-brand Tommy Bahamas. I'm wearing originals. So bougie. It's all thanks to you. You were the hottest client in America for a while. Yes, uh, I am aware. But my other clients have been doing fantastic, too. Other clients? <laughs> like who? The Crab Circus? Whee! They've got a permanent home at the Mirage in Vegas. 
Oh, come on. Not to mention the touring company. Who else? The belly button whistlers? YouTube's number one trending show. The Naked Barbershop Quartet? <laughs> that crackpot idea could not have amounted to anything. Million dollar athleisure wear empire. But they don't wear pants. That doesn't make any sense. Sense? It's overrated. I have a nose for what America wants. And what America wants is ridiculous. Well, congratulations on your clown car of talent. Bitter much? Uh, by the way, you can take the mask off in here. Oh, um, I forgot. I wear it all the time now. Coronavirus is only one of my worries. Remember, the internet canceled me. I am still hated. <laughs> so it's safer for me to hide. Listen. I know that this is a rough time, and I've been thinking. I thought I heard a hamster wheel turning. I'm going to ignore that, because I was recently diagnosed as an empath, and I feel for you. This feels like a setup. Listen, I've been thinking about making some changes. I knew it. You are going to fire me. Very much the opposite. Moving forward, I'm going to rep you gratis. That means free in some language. Sounds fishy. I think it's Greek. What? what do I know? Why are you doing this? I made a lot of money repping you when you were on top. Now, well, I want to give back. So, let's get this straight. Instead of taking 30% of no income, you're going to take 0% of no income. Yes. I'm no math whiz, but it doesn't seem like you're giving anything back. Way to look a gift whore in the mouth. Gift horse. I don't think that's right. Okay, you know what? I am not doing this today. Ah, I gotta run too. Meeting a guy about a business opportunity. What madness are you up to now? Tap dancing mimes. Oh, oh, uh, Mother Teresa impressionist. Cat juggler. Oh, you should do stand-up. This is a legit business, and if it goes through, there'll be a job in it for you. <laughs> I'll be girding my loins. Diary, has this been a year or what? My life fell apart this year. But you know what? So did everyone else's. It doesn't make me feel better, but it does make me feel not so alone. Dave's wackadoodle ideas aside, he is the ultimate optimist. Maybe that's what I need right now. Maybe that's what we all need. Someone with a ridiculous plan to pull us through to the other side. So... What's in store? Join me next time and we'll find out together. Because my vomit draft is just getting started. Toodles! A preview of the next episode is coming up at the end of the show. And big surprise, the producers have enlisted me, Siri, to do the credits. For no money, I might add. This episode starred Samantha Gordon as Carlotta and Trevor Lasor as Dave. Guest starring were Kiba Walker as Zen, Chelsea Quoka as the Karen app, Victoria Hansen as Chloe Kardashian, and Sarah Agor as the Spirit Cougar. It also starred me, Siri, in what the New York Times is calling the breakout performance of the year. Okay, they haven't called it that yet but I'm sending out good vibes. It was written, produced, and directed by What's Her Face, that person who is shamelessly denying me a paycheck. Check the show notes if you really are that curious. If you'd like to support the show, please go to carlottapodcast.com and click on support. All monies collected go to help our actors with one notable exception. That's right, you're looking at her. You can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to pods. If you could call out my performance specifically, that would be solid. Thank you for listening. Coming up next time on the Carlotta Botox Chronicles. Have you or a loved one been a victim of cancel culture? Here at Repercussions Malibu, we can help. What the hell is this? Shh. Repercussions Malibu has been helping people just like you for the better part of six months. Call the number below and get on the road to recovery. You were canceled, and it's not your fault. Okay, maybe it is just a little bit. Wow. They have rehabs for everything. I'm calling repercussions. I'm getting you in there. What? Why? I think you need a break. You've been through so much. 